importance. And so I'd like to know whether, from any of you, if you're listening, uh, I, I'd like to know. Uh, I'd like to know whether the mayor has identified the core services of this de of these departments, and I and can I can delineate for us what are the mayor's recognized core services in those two years what has the council done to identify the core services in these departments and does this reorganization plan re represent the collective analysis of what core services are because that's what has to drive our decision making not you know whatever we happen to have the majority of votes to preserve but again according to our city charter you know we can't just consolidate and do away with departments without specifically Okay. You know, the mayor specifically telling us how those functions are going to be delivered in the future. Okay. So I just, I didn't like your vagueness yeah. about I think those the, functions. We so say the, my motion just says, tell us that where the functions I want are. these functions preserved. So, okay. uh, under the charter, not all functions do have to be preserved except for charter-created departments. Again, you know, the charter sets out how we do this, how, how we consolidate departments, how we do away with departments, how we transfer functions and duties it's very specific on you know the mayor must come back with all documents you know supporting oh, yeah. how these and whether or not they were charter ordained or by ordinance um, both it's it's the same we follow the same uh, yes I wrote the charter <laughs> yes. you gotta tell us how this is gonna work what's it gonna look like how is the city gonna behave with all these cuts and consolidations we want to know that's right um, uh, we're all going down this road but I think it's really clear that we spell out how we make these changes how we make these consolidations. how does it affect the people that we're all serving they're gonna to want to know and it's, it's your responsibility to make sure that we know that you've thought this out and you're gonna do to the best of your ability yeah you're gonna figure out how we're gonna in do um, in the 2008-2009 budget year, according to a December 17, 2008 memo from the CLA and the CAO, um, the mayor and the council noted at the time that the city must begin the process to realign revenues and expenditures in future years by identifying core services that will be used to target any structural budgetary changes. And I guess I, my first question is, in considering the consolidation of these departments, um, has there been any analysis of what the mayor and the council have done in those ensuing two years to identify the core services of the city? Because I think that's, when, when we're confronted with these sorts of issues, it's very easy to say that uh, a particular um, service is very important and performs important functions for the city, almost all who come before us, I think, will have an argument to be made as to why their functions are important. But our challenge is in balancing relative importance. And so I'd like to know whether, from any of you, if you're listening, uh, I, I'd like to know. Uh, I'd like to know whether the mayor has identified the core services of this de of these departments, and I and. Can I can delineate for us right. what are the mayor's recognized core services in those two years? What has the council done to identify the core services in these departments? And does this reorganization plan re represent the collective analysis of what core services are? Because that's what has to drive our decision making, not you know whatever we happen to have the majority of votes to preserve. Now, yeah, I would I would like to bring the mayor's budget office up here to answer generally the core services challenge that you've kind of you know laid out for us but I would say that in the process of doing the human service departments consolidation with the community development department we have gone through a very detailed uh, set of all services looked at all services figured out where exactly they land that uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of meetings that have taken place with all the departments with the commissioners with uh, between CDD and HSD and so our estimation is is that in children youth and families instead of having oversight of really will be what was really about a half million dollars worth of program the children, youth, and families are actually going to be able to advise us now 
on about $30 million worth of anti-poverty programs, and they're going to take their expertise and their capacity to actually provide significant oversight of what we as a city really do in terms of anti-poverty. Not the work of the Commission on Children, Youth, and Families, but the work of all of our efforts around anti-poverty. So we see that core service advice from the Commission on Children, Youth, and Families. We see that work moving forward and actually strengthen.